or parallel is pretty straightforward, so long as you are organized and remember your postulates, properties, theorems, and everything else. So let's take a look at the following proof as an example. Here, we have it appears to be two triangles. What could they possibly have to do with parallel lines? Well, let's see. The line segments that we are supposed to prove parallel are two sides of the triangles. So let's extend those sides so that we can really see what we're doing. Extending them also helps our brain recall the facts that we know about parallel lines. We can recall that there are five major ways to prove that lines are parallel. You can show that the alternate interior angles formed by a transversal are congruent. You can show that the alternate exterior angles formed by a transversal are congruent, that consecutive or same side interior angles are supplementary, that corresponding angles are congruent, or for a twist, you could show that the two lines are actually parallel to a common line. We can rule this last option out because I really don't see another line that they could possibly be parallel to. So it looks like we need to find two angles that end, understand their relationship to the parallel lines or the lines that we're supposed to prove are parallel. So let's start with what's given. And to do this, let's mark up the diagram. Using a different color really helps. Huh. So what connections can we make with the angles? Well, I see some vertical angles, which I know are congruent. And then maybe I can use the transitive property to talk about a chain reaction and maybe find a pair of angles that fits one of my many ways. Well, it sounds like a good start, so let's begin. We start with one of the given pieces of information. Next, we show that the vertical angles are congruent. And then we bring in the next piece of given information. And now we can use the transitive property, twice actually, but I'm only going to write it once, to show that these angles are congruent. So we cut out two middlemen. And now that we know that these two angles are congruent, let's take a look at them in the diagram to fully understand the relationship between them and the parallel lines. Well, since they form this Z shape, I know that they're alternate interior angles. And since I've already shown that these guys are congruent, I know now that I can use the alternate interior angles converse theorem to prove that the lines are parallel. And I'm done.